everyone. This is the video review of Combiner Wars Superion, uh, one of the most recent additions to the Transformers figure collection for 2015. And wow, what an awesome uh, series this is. Uh, we've seen already, uh, even in the early stages of this series, a uh, quite a significant selection of awesome figures come our way. Uh, and uh, Superion uh, was one of the uh, first that we've uh, been able to get our hands on as far as a complete, 100% uh, complete combiner um, with all of the proper members of the team. Uh, and I certainly am happy to have uh, a complete Superion in my hands right now. Um, this review basically will touch on some of the aspects of the figure that I really like. Uh, and then the, the sort of the, the configuration that I've found is to be the most... Uh, uh, the best configuration as far as how I like to have them on uh, looking on my shelf. So um, as you can see here he is complete with uh, the fourth and final limb uh, from wave two of Combiner Wars which is Air Raid. Um, just picked up him uh, recently uh, to uh, make my Superion 100% complete. So as you can see here uh, you can get some pretty decent uh, dynamic poses out of him. Um, takes a little bit of uh, finesse from time to time to get him uh, the way you want him but uh, the results are, are pretty good. Uh, this is the default limb configuration that I certainly like to have him in. Um, I like to have uh, Firefly and uh, Alpha Bravo as his two arms, and then Air Raid and um, Skydive as his two legs. Um, as far as weapons storage configuration, uh, a couple of different things that you can do as far as where you put all of the miscellaneous guns that he comes with, uh, and this is sort of what I've discovered is to be the best combination of storage for, for what I like to see. Um, here you see Air Raid's uh, Twin Blaster uh, stuck on to Alpha Bravo uh, as sort of a wrist or arm blaster. Depending on how you have uh, Alpha Bravo configured, there's a nice little port there that you can plug this into. And it just fits very nicely on his forearm there to give him a, a little bit of extra armament. On the other side of things, on uh, Superion's big massive cannon over here, I've taken skydives twin blaster and added it to the top here just to give it a couple of extra barrels and i think that that's a nice way to uh, make his gun a little bit more uh, a little bit beefier a little bit more impressive um, and it sure beats having the um, the configuration of uh, a power glide hanging off the top of his gun there which really really kind of looks silly in my opinion so i think that looks a lot better Put that back on his hand and as you can see on his hips there i've got some storage of the weapons there would be alpha bravo's sort of chain gun machine gun there and then on the other side on his other hip i have firefly's gun mounted nicely on his hip there nice clean storage one of the things that i like to do as well is to take my power glide and stick them on superion's back like that uh, to me, that really kind of looks kind of neat. Um, it gives him almost a, a drone or a minicon uh, kind of thing that he could launch off of his back there. Uh, you know, not uh, unlike the way Soundwave launches his figures or, uh, you know, maybe Scorponok comes out of Blackout in the first Transformers movie. I know obviously that's a very different, you know, generation and series from this guy, but uh, it's certainly not uh, an unusual thing for Transformers to have. Um, you know, mini cons or, or drones sort of launch uh, off of them, and I think that works pretty well. Um, and it also gives them a nice place to, to tuck in and store there. So I think that works pretty cool. So yeah, um, I'm not going to go through uh, each individual figure because I know that you guys have seen them uh, many, many times already from all of the other different video reviews that are out there. But uh, that's sort of the couple of things on, on Superion. That I like and that I uh, tend to display them with. So I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, this very quick um, review on how to uh, configure Superion for a particular look. Uh, I like it uh, a lot. I hope you guys do too and thanks very much for tuning in.